Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to go over two important concepts uh, before we can continue on with our project. And these two uh, different concepts are going to be very important in actually being able to relay information over from one computer to another inside of Photon. The first is Remote Procedure Calls, or RPCs. RPCs allow you to call functions on other players' computers. So just like on your computer, you would just, when typing code, you would just go function name and then brackets. That is how you would call a function, for example. But let's just say you wanted to call a function, for example, you have an enemy and you want to damage them, and you want to call the take damage function on them. Well, normally you would just call their take damage function, but in order to do, in order for the, that player to actually have that function be called on their computer, you need to do some. You need a, um, you need to call an RPC, and here is how we can do it. Um, there's two different ways to do an RPC. The first one is you go photon view. We'll get to that soon. Dot RPC, and then in brackets you have the name of the function as a string, and then comma, and then you enter in the player you want to do. You want to um, send it to, and this is the photon player. Remember we had the um, the player class, which is the photon player. And that is the person we want to uh, send this to. And then you can have some parameters there if you do have parameters. Uh, the other way though is sending it to an RPC target. And this is not sending it to an individual person, but sending it to a group of people or a specific group of people in a certain way. Here are all the different RPC targets. We have all via server, others master client, all buffered, all buffered via server, and others buffered. All executes the function instantly on your computer and sends that function out to everybody else on inside your room to call that function on their computer. All via server sends that function call up to the server and then from the server it tells everybody including you to call that function. Uh, others sends that function to everybody else but you. Master client sends that function to the master client. And then we go into the buffered. Now, what buffered means is that it will actually cache that function call. So, what it does, what it means is that let's just say you call the uh, change color function, for example, just a hypothetical function, and it changes your color to blue. Um, you could call that with all, for example. But what if somebody was to then join the game after you call that? You join the game, and for them, for for you, everyone's blue. Yet for them, nobody's blue. Um, the way to have a function call for them that has already been called is to set it in all buffered. And what this does is cache that function for when new people join the room, it will call that function on their computer. So you got all buffered, and then you got all buffered via server, and then you got others buffered. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of RPCs. We'll get into those in more detail when we start actually using them. But for now, this is just a brief overview on what they do and how we are going to use them in the project. And we are going to use them quite a lot in the project. Okay, so let's move on to our next concept, which is the photon view. Now, a photon view is a component which identifies an object across the network. This, if you want to call an RPC to an object, um, that object needs a photon view. Because in Unity, at the moment, how does, you, how, how does photon know which objects are the same across the network? Uh, each game object does have its own instance ID for the game object, but that is randomly generated and it is actually different. Uh, example, for example, if you had two instances of the game launched and you, you spawn it in an object, that object would have a different instance ID from the other. So at the moment, there is no real way for Photon to know which objects are the exact same across different players' computers. And the way you do that is with a Photon View component and more specifically the view ID of that photon view. So each object inside uh, the world has a unique view ID. Each player, uh, the network manager, the game manager, the menu, all that sort of stuff, each has its own unique unique view ID. So that photon, when, it, when you send an RPC uh, to that object across the network, it knows exactly where to send it. And there's also different types of uh, Photon View extension components, for example. You can see that there's an observed components list that you can add stuff to. And what we're going to be doing is, for our units, we want to be able to actually sync the position of these units across the server. So when you click on a unit and move them, we want that movement to not only, you know, of course it's going to be moving on your screen, but how are we going to tell other computers, other people in the room, to move that object as well? We are going to be using something called a photon transform view. And what this does is, if you attach it to an object, that means that whenever that object moves, that position or rotation or scale will be updated across everyone's everyone's uh, computers automatically, instantly, and it also adds some smoothing as well, so it's not jittery. Um, that just prevent that that just doesn't require us to do 
lots of code where we got to send send the new position, receive it, and then serial uh, not serialize it, but actually then lerp between the old position and the new position. Uh, that's what you used to do have to do with networking, but now there's the there's that component which makes it much easier, and we'll get into that in more detail, of course, later on. Uh, when we get to it. And of course, when we start using our Photon Views, we'll get into that more detail as well. So for now, that's just a brief overview of what an RPC and a Photon View is. Uh, for sure, we'll be using these quite a lot throughout the project, as they are really the, the core of uh, making a multiplayer game inside of Unity and being able to actually transmit information and sync up values between computers. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next lesson, where we actually begin on using these Photon Views and RPCs.